I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Asim Verma for scoring a such a good rank of rank, topmost rank of 6 in DM Intervention Radiology. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Sir. Doctor, can you tell us your brief background from where you started your career till date? What all you have done? Yes, sir. I am a resident of a small town called Durg in Chhattisgarh. I have done my MBBS from uh, VMMC in Savajang Hospital, New Delhi. Then I did my PG from uh, Dr. Ram Manuel Oya Hospital, New Delhi. And then, sir, I did a uh, SRship in RML itself. And, sir, recently I cleared the non-academic SRship at Ames, New Delhi. And uh, I was, I'm about to join next month, sir, in November. Very good, very good, excellent. Now, intervention, radiology, DM super speciality, which uh, speciality you are interested in? Sir, I'll uh, take gentle body uh, IR, yeah. Okay. If I get better. Okay, fine. Now, can you tell us your methodology of preparation, what you did to achieve this rank? Sir, uh, it was a roller coaster, right? First of all, sir, I'll yeah, want to thank uh, my parents because they were very supportive. They were going through a hard time. And also, I would like to thank uh, everyone at RML Hospital, the faculty, the senior residents, and my, my colleagues were very supportive. Sir, uh, basically, I was not preparing for DM per se. I was preparing for uh, SR ship entrance exams. And uh, I did attend a conference, an IR conference, and was uh, very much enthralled about the field. I did talk to some seniors and they had asked me to read Krishna and uh, Krishna Kandarpa and Kaufman for IR. So I did read them and I gave INISS in the April session. And in that I got a rank of 12. But after giving that exam, it was clear that uh, it is very competitive, the seats are very less. And a luck factor also plays a role. So then I focused my attention that I'll get SR ship in a good place where I'll have diagnostic and intervention exposure as well. So that was my prime goal. And sir, even in the exams, you have both uh, a combination of diagnostic and intervention questions. So even if you are preparing predominantly diagnostic radiology, in fair well in the exams, you need just need to have superficial knowledge of IR, at least for neat SS. And uh, for INI also, this uh, the one I gave, diagnostic had a, a major chunk of the questions. So apart from that, actually I was supposed to join Ames in September first week, but they postponed my joining to November. I talked to them, but they said okay, they could not uh, prepone it. So then I, I had like 15, 20 days, like a month. So I just revised what I read for my SRship exam for AIMS. That was mostly diagnostic and summit of intervention. And then I just gave the exam. So I got that. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So uh, how many hours you used to prepare? What all you used to read? How all you used to read? Or how many questions you used to work on? I mean, can you tell us something on that? Sir, uh, I actually, the basis, basic thing in interventional radiology, I felt was there, is, there are very few seats. And there are very few people to guide you. So, sir, I'll be very frank. I actually joined Speed App to get into SR ship because just after my PG, when I gave the exams, we were not used to MCQs, right? And, and throughout your three years of radiology, you were just trying to get accustomed to images and ultrasound and MRI and CT. So, so you lose touch with MCQs. So I initially did MCQs from there. But then with the, when I gave INISS, I realized that it was going to be all about revision. Because the radiology subject is very vast and it has like uh, fields of medicine, surgery, obstiny, peds, MSK, ortho, and, and intervention also involved. So my main strategy was to whatever I read, I should be able to revise them at least once in the last 15 days. I said so that is that was my major strategy. So most of the time I was concising and I gave a DNB exam post my MB, I cleared it. So I had read for DNB from my notes which I had prepared during my PG. So I just revised those notes because I felt it was comfortable to revise them. And I was also doing a SARSHIP at RML in between. And then later on, uh, in that uh, pre-1 to 1.5 months, I had enough time. So I devised them and I just brushed through some topics of intervention and I gave the exams. Great. And sir, regarding questions, sir, the, uh, one more very good point about speed app is 
Speed is the only app right now which is providing DM uh, interventional radiology courses. And uh, even though I was not able to listen to all the lectures due to time constraints, I did give the tests. And uh, the questions that come are similar to the one asked in the test. So that is a good good point. Sir. So basically, that was very helpful because as there is so little knowledge about what is going to be asked in the in the exam because there are no recall sessions. And even if you search in the on the web or on internet, there is very little information about how to prepare for DM interventional radiology. So that that is where I uh, found speed helpful. It was like a measure whether I am whatever I am studying is in the right direction or not, sir. Excellent, doctor. Now, uh, how many questions did you attend in this exam, doctor? Sir, I had listened to your video one day before the exam, so I attempted one fifty out of one fifty. Great. Now, uh, next for the counselling and uh, where yes, you are planning to take it up and uh, what is the uh, thing that you are going to plan and do it? Sir, I am a bit confused because uh, getting into DM interventional radiology means so you will uh, certainly lose touch with diagnostics. So, if I take, I will add, uh, I will take uh, Tata Memorial Mumbai, but then I will have to think uh, because I might continue my starship and go for a fellowship instead so that I can keep in touch with diagnostics as well, which is also very vast. I said if I take the seat, I'll uh, prefer Mumbai. Excellent. And also you can join uh, as a faculty in speed as well to guide students uh, because you have prepared recently and also you have taken up uh, the exam and have been successful in the exam. And uh, you'll be a great resource for the students who are appearing for years to come. And uh, and also, you want to know what is the message that you want to give to the students who are aspiring for DM superficiality in radio diagnosis? Sir, I would like to say, ki, uh, sir, another that is the same thing with interventional radiology. Sir, firstly, MD radiology, the thing is during MBBS, we don't have exposure to radiology because we get postings in internship and we usually use them to prepare for PG entrance. And then the three years of radiology are mostly gone into understanding radiology. And then most of the institutes don't have interventional radiology per se at there. So there is very little exposure. But if if you're sure about IR, if you're sure about going into interventional radiology, then I think your best attempt for NEAT SS at least will be just post PG because uh, during uh, at your MD exam level, you will know the most radiology because in SRship again, you will be seeing limited cases. But for MD exams or DNB exams, you will uh, learn most of the radiology. That is the best time if you are dedicated. You just have to post MD exams. You just have to push through one uh, one month, solve some questions to get into that zone of solving MCQs. And then again, in the exams, like we get spotter images in our MD and DNB exams, they put spotter images in the questions. We have to study physics for MD and DNB exams. They ask physics questions. We have to study about contrast. Uh, we have to study about artifacts and they asked that. So it was more like an extension of the uh, PG practical, especially the DNB practicals that occur. And which with 20 or 25 odd intervention patients, which were kind of difficult this time. Even this time, it was very close uh, and it was a difficult paper, I think. Very good, doctor. Now, time to thank whom all you want to thank who made your career and have been part of uh, your success story till date. I would uh, like to thank my parents first and my family. And I would like to thank uh, uh, the entire department of Amuna Loya Hospital, my HOD ma'am, my immediate AX HOD sir, my guide sir, the senior residents, the other faculty, my juniors. And uh, also, sir, I had talked to certain uh, seniors from AIMS Jodhpur and AIMS Rishikesh regarding the IR uh, preparation. I would like to thank them and I would like to thank the faculty at uh, speed i personally texted them regarding what to study uh, and uh, they replied very uh, instantly and recently i also att attended the grant test discussion videos and they they were also very good into the point and i would like to thank you sir for giving us such a platform so that we can understand and we can explore and uh, definitely we can extend our horizons yes to the unknown, sir. yes and we are really working hard to build up more content uh, into this uh, speciality because as you uh, said the, the number of seats also less number of people appearing is also uh, little measured 
and also yes, the resource people is a constraint. So definitely yes, we would like to have you on board and uh, you can be part of the speed team and to guide as students preparing for subsequent years. Thank you so much. Yes, Wish you all the best doctor for a great career in your intervention radiology program in DM. All the best to you. Thank you so much sir.